Hey guys, it's Ozia and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be doing Steam Power and uh, we're going to go on from uh, what we did last episode which was uh, make that uh, automatic uh, uh, canola farm just so we can get the uh, seeds for lubrication. Now we're going to actually turn the seeds uh, into lubrication and we're going to use a different um, <coughs> power source. Um, but the Steam Power is also a uh, renewable source as well if you do it right. So first of all, we're going to make um, a steam engine. So let's just grab. Well, actually, we're going to grab one part of it first, which is the condenser. So it's a bit that we haven't made yet. So we'll just make that first, and it can be done in an ordinary workbench, the uh, crafting table, I should say. And it's four liquid pipes in a cross pattern like that. That's not a cross pattern. Yeah, it's a pattern. And then fill the extra squares in with HSLA steel ingots to get a condenser. Excellent. So let's grab the other parts. So you're going to need some cobblestone, uh, a shaft unit, an impeller, two base panels, and finally, you're either going to need a copper ingot or a gold ingot. So you've got a choice as to which one you want to use. So I'm using copper because I've got more copper than gold at the moment. So let's go onto the work table. So the copper goes down the bottom, power goes above it, cobblestone along the top, condenser on the left hand side, shaft unit on the right hand side, and then two base panels in the final corner. So you get a steam engine. Okay, so there's something else we need to make. Uh, we need to make a, uh, a set of cooling fins, so I've got some already made, but we're going to need to make another one. Uh, so what they are is it's six shaft units and three base panels. And they're important because if you don't have them, um, your steam engines will explode. And we don't want that. So just uh, six shaft units, two rows of uh, shaft units, sorry. <coughs> and then base panels along the bottom gets us three cooling fins. <coughs> so let's just grab the other things I've already pre-made. Uh, the cooling fins, uh, the steam engines. I made four shaft junctions because we're going to be combining the uh, the torque together. Uh, okay so I've already got some tin and some lead here because we're going to be making some uh, was it uh, opaque item ducts. Just uh, right now uh, Rotary craft, I don't know, maybe haven't noticed it yet, but there's uh, not much in regards to transportation of items, so we're just going to use some thermal expansion for it. So it's just a uh, tin, we add tin, and you get about six each per, so we're just going to grab enough. <coughs> Why my voice always goes like this during videos? Nervousness, I guess. Okay, so let's see, have I forgotten anything? No, I've got everything. Oh, that's right. You're also going to need some lava. Good thing I've got buckets load. Okay, so these steam engines, like the blast furnace, can accept external heat source. So let's, uh, where are we going to put this? Uh, let's just put it here. Put a little enclosure for our lava. Like this. Okay, so now if I put lava in here, it'll outspill out to these four squares. Um, don't worry about the. Uh, Crosses there, that's just my thing, lets me know where monsters can spawn. And don't go like that, so it should spread out to those four. Like that. Okay, so let's put something behind there, like that, that. And we're gonna put our steam engines. Oh, you just saw me just do that, didn't you? <laughs> okay, uh, I'll shall be back after cheating four steam engines in. <laughs> okay, I'm back, and uh, now I've got four steam engines, which I totally did not cheat in. Okay, so now you've got your steam engines. Don't chuck it into the lava. Don't do that. So just uh, right click on the back, click on the back, red being the output, and as you can see, if we just right click on the steam engine, the temperature's rising. Uh, note these things do explode when they get to about 150, so don't let that happen. 
And this is where the uh, cooling fins come into effect. Let's just uh, chuck them on the top. Oop, shift, click on top. Like that. And as you can see, blue says it's cooling below it. If we click on them, have I got that special tool on me? No, I haven't. Let's just grab the work. Go grab that. Is it in here? Yep. The angular transducer. That should be able to tell us the temperatures. Okay, so we've got output of 106 degrees, 112. These things should get up to about 120 and sit about there. Yep. So they're fine. They're getting cooled by those cooling fins. Uh, okay, wait on. Uh, I have a feeling that these things need water in them. So let's just see. Going back down again. Okay, so I shall be back once I get the uh, water supply. I come back and I've built a little water supply <coughs> at the back and I've stolen the um, the water pump that we had up, set up there so so let's just uh, uh, get a DC engine so we're gonna need just to power this uh, like that the water supply get the pump like such okay that should be right and get these liquid pipes and run them to the backs of these engines. Okay, let's just get a, a lever so we can turn this DC engine on. Like that, so we should be getting water into these engines. Are they all filling up? Yep. No, no, give me that back. Okay. There we go. Fill up that hole. Okay, so right quick, we're getting water, that's good. Not enough water. So we'll just uh, speed this up until the water gets to the top. Okay, I'm back and it's all full of water. Okay, so the problem is that these things also require water to cool down as well, not only just to, to bank steam, but to cool down as well. So. Uh, Oh, when you're making these things, uh, keep an eye on them. If they get into 130 degrees range, uh, run for the hills. Uh, okay, let's just let's put the lava below it, and like that. So it should start building up heat. Yep, it is. Uh, we've got our little tool. See the heat on them. Like that. Set 33, 6, me. What am I? 30s. They're in the 60s. 61. Okay, what's this one doing? This one's heating up as well. Yep. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend they're gonna be safe. And we're gonna continue on. And we'll put our uh, shaft junctions in. One there. One there. One there one there and so we've got to turn these ones into um, one output oh there we go it's starting to work now it's 103 107 okay let's see 111 12 13. yeah that that's much better uh, never mind about the fuel it's talking about the uh, how much water's in it Let's just see if that water level goes down. Not that I can tell. As you can see, it's almost going up to the red, but it's still fine. 30, 129. 33. 35, 140. That's a good point. What biome am I in? Okay, I'm in a savannah. Yeah, that explains why they're getting hotter. Okay, so it seems to be also dependent on your biome. Okay, so it's not going any hotter. Remember, if they get to 150x, they explode. So, uh, 
when I tested this, it was uh, about 120 in a plains biome, so. It doesn't appear to be getting hotter than 135. Oh, 130. <laughs> okay. So hopefully, for the rest of this uh, tutorial, they don't explode and kill me. Um, so right click, shift, right click on all of them to turn them into single input. Uh, two outputs. Okay, two outputs. Two outputs. Two outputs. Okay, that needs to be green output. Green input. Okay, like that. Okay, so there's ones. Green input. Two outputs. Let's just see. I got this wrong, sorry, my bad. Two inputs, sorry, I'm gonna go two inputs. So it's one input is from the engine, one input is from the, sh the shaft junction next to it. Okay, like that, yep. Okay. There we go. Yeah, red should be the output. Red output, red output, red output. Okay, so the output goes out here. Let's go and get that grinder. I'll put over here. Do, 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 do. Excellent. Sometimes I think these uh, tutorials are going to go so easy. Ow, ow. Don't stand on them, remember that. Okay, as you can see, we're, uh, each of these engines have 32 newton meters of torque. This thing requires a minimum of uh, 128. So if we go down to the grinder section, where's the grinder? There it is. Grinder and its requirements are at least. 4,960 watts at 128 newton meters. So, um, if you're good at maths, that divided by that tells you the minimum speed. But these things are doing it 512, so 512 times 128 newton meters is a lot of torque, so uh, it's going to work quite well. Okay, so once we've got that, we can use these item ducts to. Let's go there. The fan's pushing me, that's what's happening. Okay, goes across, 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 and down, and like that, so it should connect. Uh, use that crescent hammer to turn that to an output. Put a lever down to supply that redstone signal, and it should go bright red. And as we can see, items are now being taken out. They're now being it should take some time to go here. The only problem with the, the opaque pipes, you can't tell when the item's going to get through. So it's got to wait. You want to take item, so you should get there. There we go. Yes, that's going pretty well. And what we need to do is just put a lubrication pipe on the side. Like that. Uh, let's go a little bit above. So, okay, make sure now. Like that and like this. And then what we can do is we can use these Billcraft tanks as uh, storage, so we can just know how much is in the system. So it's building up fairly fast. And so now we've got our, our lubrication again, and all using no fuel. Okay, so let's check the temperatures of these machines again. 135. Okay, that's good. That's good. It's not exploiting, which is good. 
Okay, so I think that's about it today, guys. Uh, please like it if you liked it. Um, please subscribe if you want to see me throw more valuable stuff directly into Lava by accident. Um, leave a comment if you want to leave a comment. Got any suggestions, any ideas. Um, if you want to tell, tell me off, whatever, put it down in the comments. And until next time, guys.